we're going to start with a magic ring and chain two like this inside the ring make one double crochet but don't finish it like this and then one more the same way yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook and chain two again inside the ring one double crochet don't finish it and after that two more double crochets like this when you have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull the yarn the yarn through all of the loops and chain two again okay let's repeat the same steps three unfinished double crochets like this and finish them together like this okay continue with the same steps you should have total of eight petals um, when we when it's ready we are ready to finish the round we're working on this part right here after you made the last petal don't forget to chain two and we're going to finish the round with a slip stitch into the second chain here is the first one here is the second chain stitch one slip stitch okay and then pull on the strand to close the loop in the middle let's start round uh, two chain one and now we're going to work into this chain space here make five double crochets there two three four and five and one single crochet um, into the stitch above the the group of uh, double crochets from the previous row like this here and then we have the next chain space five double crochets in there as well two five and one single crochet in the stitch like this in the next chain space again five double crochets five and one single crochet into the stitch okay repeat the same steps until we reach the end of the round so at the end of the row on the round to finish it just make a slip stitch between the last uh, the first and the last petal okay like this you should have uh, again eight uh, petals chain one and cut the yarn before we get uh, to the next round uh, hide these strands so they don't get in the way okay now we are ready to start with the next round um, we're going to be working with the mustard color yarn but of course you can use uh, whatever colors you like uh, pick where you want to start it doesn't matter just um, pick one chain space insert the hook from behind 
and then into the next chain space. Um, take the yarn, pull, uh, put it on the hook and pull it through both chain spaces. Okay, turn back to see our work and make one chain using both strands here, okay, like this. Okay, then put aside the, the end and make four chains. One, two, three and four. Now insert the hook into the next chain space and from there into the next chain space. Take the yarn, pull it through both uh, chain spaces, turn and make one single crochet. Okay, let's remove this strand. Okay, like this. Chain four, going into the chain space, then into the next chain space. Pull the yarn and make one single crochet. Chain four. Okay, here how it's, it's look uh, in the front. Insert the hook, go into the next chain space, pull up the yarn, turn and make one single crochet and chain four again. Okay, repeat the same steps and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, at the end you can see uh, where am I right now. To finish the round make a chain four and then one um, single crochet into the first chain that we made. Here, just one single crochet there. Okay, and this is the end of this round. Now to start round four, um, turn and we are going to work on the back side of our project. Uh, on this round we are going to make the second round of petals. So this here these petals. Okay, we're going to start with six double crochets into the first chain space around this chain here. One, two, three, four, five and six. And then one single crochet into this stitch here. This is actually our uh, single crochet from the previous row. Okay. One single crochet there. It's a little tight like this. Then into the next chain space again six double crochets. five and six. And one single crochet again into the stitch. Like this. Then six double crochets into the next chain space. One, two, three, four, five and six and one single crochet into the stitch. Okay, repeat the same steps until the, the end. 
So to finish the round, just make one slip stitch into the first stitch here between the next group of um, double crochets like this, chain one, cut off the yarn, hide all ends and I'll see you for the next round. So this is how it's looking so far in the front and in the back. For the next round, which is round five, we're going to work with the purple yarn. Okay. Uh, we're going to work on the back side of the project. Uh, insert a hook in behind one of these stitches and make one single crochet. It doesn't matter which stitch, just choose one. Then chain five. Five. We're moving on to the next uh, stitch again. Go behind it like this and one single crochet. And chain five. Now on to the next stitch, go behind it and one single crochet, chain five, moving on to the next stitch, go behind it and one single crochet there. Okay, repeat the same steps and I'll meet you at the end. To finish the round, make the last five chains and a slip stitch into the uh, first single crochet. Like this. So for round six, uh, turn and now we're going to work into this chain space here. Uh, make seven double crochets there. One, two, three, four, Five, six, and seven. Now we're going to make one double crochet around this petal here. So yarn over, go into the chain space next to the petal and pull the hook from uh, the, the next uh, chain space. Take the yarn, pull it through, just pull it a little bit to make it bigger until your hook reaches the, the edge of the um, white petal. Yarn over, pull through both loops and yarn over, pull to, through the remaining both loops. So this is a double crochet but more uh, longer double crochet. Okay, so now we're moving again in the back into the next chain space. Uh, around this chain here we're going to make again seven double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven. Okay, and now the same way. Yarn over, 
insert the hook in um, the chain space, go behind the petal, take the yarn, pull it until you reach the edge of the white petal, like this, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. Okay. Then turn back and into the chain into the chain space or more exactly around this chain seven double crochets three four five six and seven And the same thing around the next petal. Go behind it, take the yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through the remaining two loops. Okay, this is how it looks so far. Repeat until the end. Okay, so this is how it's looking so far. So let me show you how to finish the round. Let's first uh, make the big double crochet between the petals like this and then turn back and here between the petals let me show you here uh, into the chains, uh, into the single crochet, and just make a slip stitch. Like this. Then chain one and cut off the yarn. Hide all ends, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so uh, this is uh, how it our little flower looks so far. It's so pretty you can leave it this way if you want this is how it looks from the back now for round seven take the white yarn we're going to work on the back side again um, into this uh, po uh, purple posts here be behind me like this and like this so where you want to start from just uh, choose a stitch insert the hook behind it take the yarn pull up a loop and make one single crochet okay. like this then chain six six uh, go uh, into the next stitch go behind the next stitch take the yarn and make one single crochet there also then chain six okay moving on to the next stitch go behind it and make one single crochet there chain six the same around the next stitch okay repeat the same steps and I'll meet you at the end so to finish the round just simply make a slip stitch into the um, single crochet the first single crochet that we made at the beginning of the round okay and the round is ready okay let's start round eight we are going to work on the back side again make one single crochet around this chain here chain two and then five double crochets around the same chain one Two, three, 
three, four, and five. We are moving on to the next uh, chain where we are going to make six double crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now chain three and we're moving on to the next chain space where we're going to make another six double crochets. Three, four, five, and six. Here we're not going to make chain three, just go directly around the next chain for another six double crochets. Okay, four, five, and six. Okay, so you have to alternate between uh, chain three, um, one group of, of six double crochets, then directly the next group of double uh, of six double crochets, chain three, and then again the next um, two groups here. So now we have to make chain three and go directly into the next uh, uh, chain here. Okay, repeat and now meet you at the end. To finish the round, make one double crochet into the uh, second chain. Here the chain two that we make at the beginning of the round. Here is the second chain, one double crochet there. Round nine. To start the round, chain three and make two double crochets into the same chain space. So here we have the five double crochets uh, which we make uh, which we made at the beginning of the um, the previous round and the chain of two. The chain of two is counting as the sixth double crochet. In the middle, part them slightly and into the middle uh, make three double crochets and three like this. Now we're going into uh, the next uh, small chain space here between the, the groups of double crochets and we're going to make three double crochets. Two and three. Here in the middle again three double crochets. One, two, and three, like this. So when we reach the big chain space, we're going to make three double crochets chain three and three more into the same chain space. And now we continue the same way as uh, before here in the middle between the third and the fourth double crochet three double crochets. One, 
3 double crochets into the next chain space. Three double crochets again between the third and the fourth double crochet from the previous row. And here we have again the big chain space. Three double crochets in there. Chain three and three double crochets again in the same chain space. Okay, so repeat these steps and now wait for you at the end. Okay, so let me show you how to finish this round. Um, here we have three double crochets into this big chain space. This is the same as here. So this is this and now we have to make this part. So go in there and make three double crochets. Then chain three. And we're going to connect both groups of double crochets with a slip stitch. Here is the initial chain of three that we made. First, second, third chain here. Go in there and just make one slip stitch. Okay. And this is the round. So uh, here how is it looks in the back. And in the front. So we are done with this yarn. Uh, just make one chain and cut off the yarn. Okay, height whatever ends you have hanging freely and and i'll see you for the next round okay guys uh this is the final round round 10 i'm going to show you how to do the edging and this part here we're going to work again with the mustard colored yarn uh, make a slip knot on the hook just a little more loose and we're going to start in one of the corners here above this double crochet. So insert the hook into the stitch and pull up a loop. Make it a little uh, bigger. Then um, turn your hook counterclockwise like this and yarn over and pull through both loops okay let's make it again pull the hook to make the loop a little bigger yarn uh, go into the chain and pull up a loop twist the hook yarn over and pull through the loops and then again Make the loop bigger, go into the next stitch, pull up a loop, twist the hook, yarn over, pull through both loops. And this is how it looks so far. Okay. These are the steps. Just go through each of the stitches. You have to keep the loops uh, very loose so you can, when you twist uh, the yarn, there's enough space to, um, after that, to finish uh, the, um, the stitch. 
going into the next stitch pull up a loop then twist the hook yarn over pull through both loops and then again turn and go through both loops okay so uh, repeat until you reach the corner and I'll show you how to um, how to do the corner so let me show you how to make the corner go in there pull up a loop but before that make that loop loser mm. pull up a loop twist yarn over pull through both loops and then one more time twist yeah. and now we have to make chain one and the same steps two more times and again pull up a loop twist okay and from here just go uh, in each of the stitches like we did on the other side okay so repeat the same steps when you reach uh, the corners make the same thing as here and I'll meet you at the end to show you how to finish it okay so uh, to finish the round so you can see I made the last corner to finish the round just um, go slightly on the back side and insert the hook into the first stitch and make a slip stitch then chain one and cut off the yarn hide all ends and you are ready okay this is how it looks so far okay guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe i can't wait to see your creations so follow me on instagram and tag me of progress photos or join our facebook group and post your creations there i've put links down below in the description bye